Hello, I'm Dr. Ross Walker and welcome to The Checkup. Hello, Dr. Ross Walker and welcome to The Checkup. I'd like to talk about probably one of the biggest health issues on the planet, and that's air pollution. You see, when people say to you, oh, look, there's no such thing as human-induced climate change, well, whether there is or isn't, this is an absolute scientific fact that no one can dispute. I believe there is climate change. I think the evidence is overwhelming. But the, the big thing that's overwhelming here is that now one in eight deaths around the planet are directly linked to air pollution. And who causes air pollution? We do. There is some degree of air pollution from uh, cows breaking wind, but most of the air pollution comes from industry, from cars, from everything else. And there's, there's no doubt there's a direct link with these one in eight deaths, a direct link between air pollution, cardiovascular disease, dementia, or respiratory disorders, many common cancers, osteoporosis, behavioral abnormalities in children, complications of pregnancy for women. Uh, so it, it really doesn't matter what disease we're talking about, there's a, there's a link with air pollution, which many people don't even think about. You think about heart disease, you think about cholesterol and blood pressure. You don't think maybe the fact that I live in a city and I'm breathing in polluted air may be contributing to my cardiovascular disease, my respiratory disease. Of course it is, of course it is. And this new study has shown that it doesn't matter what type of air pollution we're talking about, that there's a link with cardiovascular disease. So for example, one of the common pollutants is a thing called PM 2.5. And that means particulate matter 2.5 or 2.5 microns, the size of the little pieces that easily get in through the lungs and then into your bloodstream. Nitrogen dioxide, another form, sorry, nitrogen oxide, another form of air pollutant. Then there's black carbon, there's ozone. And it's found that if you have something between five to 10 micrograms per cubic meter, of, the, of any of these substances, this leads to a five to 10% increase in your risk for cardiovascular disease. So we need to move towards a zero emissions. We need to move towards an area where most of us are driving electric cars because we've got to get away from this air pollution because it's killing many, many people around the planet. That's a checkup. Talk to you next week.